What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel for another hair product review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Monarch Matte Paste from Blumon. So you guys have requested this a lot, so I'm happy to oblige and check it out for you. So I bought one, came in the mail the other day, and I haven't even opened it at all yet. I thought it would be uh, a bit more fun to do this review in that kind of first impression style format, because I haven't done a video like that in a minute. So without wasting any time, let's get right into the review and take a look at the packaging first. All right, so as we can see, this is just like all the other Blue Mon products now. This is their newer branding with the boxes on the outside and the kind of uh, artful animals on the cover and each one has its own kind of color scheme so this one's black and green. On the side of the box here it does say high hold with a rating of four out of six. Matte finish 2.5 ounces 74 milliliters. And once you get inside the box and you take a look at the product jar itself you'll see it is their standard black plastic jar with these sticker labels on it. Um, to be honest I'm not knocked out of the park with their packaging. I mean I like the new branding. I think the animals and the different like bright colors look pretty cool. But um, I almost, it's just this plastic feels a bit cheap. I almost wish that they would have spent more time getting a bit of a nicer jar, like instead of doing these little boxes, but it's just packaging, it is what it is. All right, now let's get inside and check out the scent. Interesting. It's very light, it's kind of floral. To me, it smells almost like a bit of lavender maybe? But it's, it's pretty clean, it's light, it just kind of smells like a flowery soap, if, if that's a, a good description. Um, it's not bad, it's not my favorite smell in the world, but I don't imagine I'll be smelling it once it gets into my hair because it is very um, inobtrusive. All right, now taking a brief look at the ingredients here, it is water-based with water in the first slot, then we've got microcrystalline wax, kaolin clay, bentonite clay, castor oil, shea butter, and a couple of other oils and things in there. We've got some beeswax, we've got that mango seed butter and cocoa seed butter they mentioned, apricot kernel oil, and kelp extract, which is interesting. So let's break into this thing. We'll check out the scoop and the breakdown. And then uh, as you can see, I have clean, dry hair right now. I've got no other products in it or anything. So we'll jump right into a demo and get this into my hair and see what happens. All right, here we go. All right, so it is very, very soft and creamy. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's like super creamy. It almost feels like a thick lotion. Looks like it doesn't totally go clear, but let's uh, start styling and see how it works. All right, so um, no tugging or pulling right now. It does feel to be drying pretty quickly though. Um, but it is a pretty smooth application. It also feels very lightweight, so I think I'm gonna have to go in with one or possibly more scoops after this initial one. All right, let's take a little bit more here. I'm going with about the same size scoop, because right now it doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of hold yet. All right, so as it's drying, it is starting to feel a little bit sticky for me. I mean, it's, it's nothing unbearable at all. It's definitely not, um, you know, anything crazy like the Morris Motley Treatment Styling Bomb or anything like that, but I am noticing some hairs coming out on my hands. I don't know if you'll be able to see those nope. on the camera, but um, it doesn't really feel like it has a whole lot of tug and pull, so it's just it's kind of odd that I'm like losing some hairs here. I, yeah, I mean like hair, it's weird. Like I don't feel it pulling hairs out, but I keep finding more, more hairs on my hands. Strange. So I'm not really sure where to go from here because in terms of like how my hair is looking it looks like I have enough product like I'm kind of hesitant to add more and and because it, it does seem to be separating my strands a little bit um, so I'm a bit nervous that if I add more the strand separation is just gonna get like heightened um, but it also doesn't doesn't feel like it has a ton of hold yet, so like that makes me want to add some more, so I'm kind of on the fence. I feel like this might be something that you just have to kind of experiment with the amount you're using to see. I mean, because they're calling it a high hold, um, 
They do also say on the side of the box to uh, use as much or as little as you want to experiment with your style, whatever that means. So, um, I think I'm gonna add like a third, like a small third scoop, I guess. Cause I, you know, I don't wanna go too crazy, but not feeling like a super high hold yet. This one piece in front just does not want to stay up. Yeah, so the more I add, um, it's weird. It's like it looks matte, but it also looks slightly shiny. So I guess, I don't know, I'd call it maybe a natural shine at this point. We'll see how it turns out um, once it fully dries. But I definitely, I don't want to put any more in at this point because my hair does feel like very saturated in product right now and it is feeling fairly sticky. I mean, it's like I said, it's nothing unbearable. Um, it's not like super sticky like a, like a complete wax would be. Um, but it does feel stickier than say like a standard clay product. So, man, this one fucking strand just does not want to agree with me right now. What is with that? And this one in the front that just doesn't want to stay. All right. Um, if, like, what is with that? What is with that one? <laughs> I gotta do something about that. Just does not want to work. All right, so aside from these um, couple strands that are still being a bit difficult, I'm fairly happy with how this style came out, so I'm gonna try to leave it alone. And um, it is about 12.40 right now, so I've got a busy day ahead. I've got a lot of stuff to do. It's also pretty hot today. It's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're really gonna put this to the test. So I'm gonna check in with you guys periodically while I'm out doing stuff, and we'll see how this holds up. Um, now that it's been sitting here, it does feel like the hold is starting to set in a bit, but I don't know why these like strands keep falling down, but uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to fix this weird weirdness that's happening here, uh, and then I'll just go out and uh, I'll see you guys a little bit later and we'll see how it works. All right guys, so it's been about 30 minutes. So the product is definitely fully set now. Um, it doesn't feel quite as sticky, but I'm not super crazy about the texture to be honest. Um, it's a little bit too like separated strands for me at this particular moment. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, I do have some pieces that are falling down a bit so we'll uh keep you posted it's very toasty out here so we'll uh see how things hold up as the day goes on all right guys so here we are about um eight almost nine hours later and um you know things held up pretty well it's this side started to kind of fall apart a little bit you can see these bits here that i kind of kept sweeping back um I think overall I would probably call the hold like a medium for me um, rather than a high hold just because there were several strands that kept kind of falling throughout the day like right there and I would just have to kind of sweep them back. So restyling wasn't really a big issue. Um, it did restyle fairly well. In terms of the volume, I mean, I think it kept most of it in there, dropped out a little bit, but you know, at this point in the day, most products would drop out uh, to some degree. So it's not, um, you know, anything crazy one way or the other. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier was price. So this comes in at $19.99. US um, and then you got shipping on top of that. So I think I paid about 575 shipping. So all in all, it was around 26 bucks for 2.5 ounces. So overall thoughts, Blue Mon Monarch Matte Paste. Um, mediocre, I guess for me, I, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. It's not my favorite. I, in terms of like, just calling it a paste, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't seem like quite like a paste to me. It 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 um it really is kind of like somewhere between a wax and a clay, which is I mean that's how they described it on the box. They basically they they told you it's got bentonite and kaolin clay in it and it's got some other waxes and oils and things. So um, to me, it just didn't really quite behave like I would expect a paste to behave. 
for me, there, you know, there were just some, like, the, the hold was pretty decent. I wouldn't call it a high hold for me. I would call it more of a medium, because I'll, I, you know, my hair is shorter right now, so it doesn't take quite as much for uh, a hold to be strong at this length of hair, but I did have to use, like, three basically full-size scoops, and then that, in turn, made my hair feel kind of sticky and just not super natural like not I don't know it, it's kind of hard to describe but it just I don't know there's something about the feel of it in my hair and the um, the texture of it and the how the strands feel that I just wasn't super nutsy about which is interesting though because I'm looking at it in the monitor over here and like down here on the camera I feel like it looks a lot better than I feel like it looks in the mirror when I look at myself so I'm, I'm not exactly what that means like looking in the monitor it looks pretty good but I I don't know there's just something about it I don't I feel like the strands were just slightly too separated or something I don't know um, but you know overall it's it's not bad it's not great it's not my favorite um, it's just kind of an is what it is type of situation I guess <laughs> all right so that about does it for my review of monarch matte paste by blue mon so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you uh, found it helpful as usual I have a ton more stuff coming down the pipe we've got uh, a lot of different product reviews I've got um, some hair tutorial type videos coming up, which I'm really excited about. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that content. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one.